India and developed countries, if they like, should build a sovereign fund. We are going to call it an India fund. Okay, this is the India fund. The India fund says uh, it'll hold a portfolio of equity, bonds, and financial assets. Okay, uh, it'll be managed professionally as any other fund would be managed, right? Subject to certain constraints. Um, and the fraction of this return, maybe not now, but in the future, 50 years from now, can be paid out as a national dividend. It's our common national dividend, yeah, that we pay it out. But the payout would have to be slow. The patience is of the essence. We, India still has a pretty nascent stock market. So this is, this is not a proposal for the present, but it's a proposal to start now. Okay. Now, the proposal has two parts to it. The first part is a one-time directive on existing publicly traded companies. Okay. It says, take your existing share base and issue X percent of that, where X is a number we can discuss, maybe 3%, maybe 10%. Issue new shares to the tune of X percent, okay, of the of your existing share base, and the government is going to hold it. Well, as you can imagine, the Confederation of Indian Industries may not be happy with this proposal, yeah. But I I I, I would like to put it forward, okay. So we say we now there's an immediate dilution of shareholder value. Boing, down comes the shareholder value, right? We've diluted it by one minus X, yeah. Okay, too bad. But it's a very cool way of paying taxes. It's a cool way of paying taxes because you don't even need to know whose wealth is what. You've just diluted it at the source. Yeah? Uh, so that's the first part. And the second part is that whenever there is a new share issue, X percent of that has to be diluted out. In other words, X percent of that new share issue has to be given to the government. The government holds it. 